With malnutrition and poor diets undermining the health of more than a quarter of the world's population, the need to promote healthy diets has never been stronger. But healthy eating doesn't just mean the types and amounts of foods eaten. It's also about food safety. And safety is compromised for millions of children and poor families in Africa by an invisible, tasteless poison that can frequently be found in the very foods that families depend on to avoid hunger – foods like maize and groundnut. These poisons, called aflatoxins, are highly toxic chemicals produced by a fungus, Aspergillus flavus, which grows often unnoticed on food crops in farmers' fields. Beginning in the fields, the fungus then continues to grow and produce poisons in stored crops after harvest. Long-term exposure to food containing aflatoxin can lead to cancer and liver disease, cause stunting in children and weaken the immune system. Aflatoxins in crops used as livestock feed can impact on animal health and profitability. Added to that, an estimated $450 million worth of trade in African farm goods is lost every year because of failures to meet international food safety standards, thanks to aflatoxin contamination. Good farming practices, like proper drying of the crop before storage and ensuring the stored crop is protected from moisture and insects, can reduce the amount of poison the fungus produces. But protecting crops in the field is a different challenge, one that science has recently found an answer to, by stopping production of the poison in the first place. First developed by the US Department of Agriculture, the new method is a form of biological control. Safe, non-toxic strains of the Aspergillus fungus are deliberately introduced to the field, where they compete with their toxic cousins, effectively displacing them and so protecting the crop. In Africa, the method was first introduced in Nigeria, where it was adapted to local conditions by the Nigeria-based International Institute of Tropical Agriculture, or IITA, and the Nairobi-based African Agriculture Technology Foundation. Working with the US Department of Agriculture, IITA scientists have created an easy-to-use product called Aflasafe. This contains heat-killed sorghum grains coated with spores from non-toxic fungus types found in Nigeria. Packed in plastic drums, the small grains are simply scattered by hand on the field at the right time in the farming calendar. In maize and groundnut, for example, spreading 10 kilos of aflasafe per hectare around two to three weeks before the plants come into flower, gives high levels of protection to the crop, both in the field and afterwards in storage. In field tests over a four-year period, Nigerian farmers were able to reduce contamination in their maize and groundnut crops by 80 to 90 percent using aflasafe and at a cost of about one and a half dollars per kilo, the method should be affordable to most farmers in the country. Several extension agencies have now adopted the use of Aflasafe, and IITA is currently building a manufacturing plant capable of producing five tonnes of Aflasafe per hour and trying out low-cost production methods appropriate for developing countries. Beyond Nigeria, Kenya, Zambia, Burkina Faso and Senegal have begun to develop their own versions of Aflasafe using their local strains of non-toxic Aspergillus fungus. And in 2012, at the G20 summit in Mexico, Aflasafe was chosen as one of three pilot projects to be included in the Ag Results Initiative, which supports the adoption of agricultural technologies by the poor. As a natural, safe and cost-effective solution to aflatoxin contamination, large-scale development and use of Aflasafe could help African countries restore vital trading links and protect the health of millions currently at risk from aflatoxin-related illness.